Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the winload.efi is missing or corrupt error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So if you're having problems, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump into it and start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with Command Prompt. You want to right click on that. And then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in BCD edit. Again, BCD edit. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now that you've done that, you want to type in BCD edit space minus sign set. And then you want to do another space. Copy whatever this identifier is here. So if you want to just copy it and then paste it in, or if you want to type it out, that's fine either way but you want to type it in exactly as it appears right here. So again, identifier, copy whatever's in here. So just want to make sure you copy the brackets exactly as it appears here. So, so it's just exactly as it appears on my screen here. You can again, like I said, copy it directly from this identifier line. And once you have it, like it appears, you want to now type in no. So you want to do a space, no integrity checks. So no integrity checks should all be one word. And now you want to do another space, type the number one on your keyboard. Now that you've done that, you want to hit enter. Should see the operation completed successfully. So hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. Another thing you try to be to open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt again, right click on it, left click on run as administrator. Now you want to go ahead and type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter on your keyboard to run the system scan. It will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Once that's done, I, I would suggest running a check disk scan as well. So it should be chk dsk space forward slash f, followed by another space 
forward slash R exactly as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. You will need to restart your computer, so just tap the Y key on your keyboard. Hit enter. So we'll be checked next time your system restarts. So close out of here. Close and save on any open programs and applications, and then you just want to restart your computer here. Okay, so now we've booted into Windows. Hopefully you guys should be good to go at this point. So, 
So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.